So to get the exact answer, apply, in this case, initial conditions. So in this case, we want to think about this thing and imagine, OK, maybe it's sitting there neutral doing nothing. But if we could somehow grab the charge on this side and put it on that side and let it go and see what happens. That's kind of physically what we're thinking of doing. Perturb it and release it at time equals 0. So the way we would describe that mathematically is that at t equals 0, q equals q naught. That's how much charge we pulled and stuck on the top plate before we released it. And also, um, i, which is dq dt, also equals 0. We're going to start it from rest and release it and see what happens. Okay? So we have two boundary conditions, one on the charge, or on the charge, the function, and one on the rate of change of the function. So let's apply this one first. So q at 0, we said, equals q naught. But if we plug that into the first guess, the uh, sine guess, that's a sine omega t is 0, because this is at time 0. That's a sine times phi. There we go. And now let's plug in for this guess. Um, this is dq dt at time 0. So that would be uh, derivative sine is cosine. That would be a omega cosine omega t is 0. So cosine phi equals 0, right? Equals 0. OK. So now we actually have two equations, two unknowns. We don't know a, we don't know phi. We don't know a, we don't know phi. Don't know, but we have, we have two equations. So this is the easier one to deal with. Something here has to make this 0, OK? The amplitude can't be 0. That would be the trivial solution. The frequency can't be 0. That would be the trivial solution. So it must be that the cosine phi term is 0. Well, the only way to make cosine phi 0 is to make phi pi over 2, or 3 pi over 2, or 5 pi over 2, blah, blah, blah. Let's just make it pi over 2, just to make our lives simpler. And now, if phi is pi over 2, then we plug that in here. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. So we realize, oh, a is just q naught. So we just used our boundary conditions to find um, the, real, the real solution which is q of time is q naught sine 1 over the square root of, L, or square root of 1 over LC, same thing, t plus pi over 2. That would be the real full solution.